what is up guys and welcome back to the channel sorry for the sun today but man is it beautiful perfect day for 2023 solo lawn care setup video so without further ado let me turn you guys around and let's go over everything so as you could see in the beginning of the video we've got the 2016 Silverado 1500 same truck as last year again it does exactly what I need it to do so uh, there's a few things on this that uh, I'll go over in a little bit but we'll just do a quick walk so you can see it All right, so I'm gonna start inside. And I forgot to mention that this truck does have the V6. So anyways, inside real quick, we got some miscellaneous stuff in the door panel, some gloves. Uh, I have some pruners in my other vehicle, starting fluid, dielectric grease, um, and then down here I've got my Milwaukee 12 volt air compressor, various sets of lights, uh, another pair of gloves. Uh, I run a uh, tablet, yes, even for solo. It just helps me stay organized, you know. So that's a cup holder uh, tablet mount. Maybe if I can remember, I'll try to uh, link that down in the description. So. Anyways, pretty basic. Uh, let's go into the toolbox on the truck. And just real quick, you can see that a bunch of various things once again. These are the straps that go over the wheels on the zero turn. There's a small ratchet set down here. Jumper cables, bungees. Um, I've got some ratchet straps, ratchet straps there, recovery rope, over there, sorry guys. <laughs> um, there's some D-rings, I've got a bottle jack over there in that box. Let me walk you guys around to the other side real quick. Again, some uh, various fluids. I, uh, that one's empty, but I do have a full one right here. Some Lucas uh, ethanol safeguard. This one can go in the trash. Uh, Marvel mystery oil. Contractor cleanup bags. You know, looks like I got some paperwork in there. Uh, in here, these are some battery-powered road flares. Uh, tire repair kit little screwdriver nut set uh, this is a ratcheting breaker bar there's some adjustable wrenches down there you never know what you might need so close that up let's go to the back of the truck here so in here as you can see I have my edger attachment for my uh, pass system or uh, combi system uh, shovel flat shovel rake I do have the Milwaukee hedge trimmers on the truck but I generally will not carry them all the time I also have hedge trimmer attachment for the PAS system combi system uh, I generally don't keep stuff on a truck that I don't need and I'll grab it when I need it. Uh, I generally just like to schedule things so uh, I know some people do it different. Uh, I do have 5 gallon regular gas. This is mixed gas. I am using the 
Sure can, as you can see. I love these sure cans. I've had no spill. They're both great cans. I think I prefer this one a little bit better. It's just a lot easier. I can't do this. <laughs> it's a lot easier with uh, this stout because, for instance, you can do something like that. You know, of course, I'd have something in my other hand, but, you know, like a trimmer. So that's the back of the truck. Pretty simple. Let's go over here into this box. Again, basic stuff, funnel rag. There's a handsaw down there, loppers, manual head shears, uh, blower attachment for the PAS system. That's a backup blower because you never know when you might need a spare blower and it's small enough so I always just keep it on here. Lock for the trailer, an extra two cycle mix. A ton of string trimmer line. I can't even remember when I bought that, but I've had it for probably two seasons now. And then I have some cotter pins down here and dry wraps for the trimmers. So, pretty straightforward on that box. Uh, on the side of the box here, I've got a document holder for the registration. I just keep it on the trailer just in case for some reason somebody else might need to borrow the trailer. They have the registration and I don't have to forget to give it to them. Uh, you can see there is a little switch box here. We'll go over that later. Some of y'all might already know what that is for. So, as you can see here, uh, I've got the walk behind and a zero turn on here. The walk behind is what I call my old faithful. Bought it brand new in 2010. And it's done me very well. So this rarely will be on the trailer. If you all, you know, watch my future videos. Um, but generally, the, I mean, this is, will be how it's set up. So uh, real quick. So again, this is my uh, 2010 Xmark Turf Tracer. So, when this mower is not on the trailer, the zero turn, which we'll get to in a minute, will be turned around. And then, we'll have this. Yes. An Ego. Ego 21 inch battery powered push mower will be on the trailer behind the zero turn. Is usually where I put a push mower. Any of you that have followed me from last year know that I, I used to have a 28 inch Craftsman. I actually still have that but this is going to be the main push mower. Yes I'm going a little bit smaller in size but I just wanted to uh, I'm trying to get into a little bit more battery power. I'm just trying some different things. So uh, now I, I only have a few jobs and you know where I need to use this so this will also not always be on the trailer uh, but this will be on the trailer a little bit more often than that will so and also real quick too <laughs> uh, the trailer was uh, brand new last year uh, the reason I actually used to have a 2010 uh, no, sorry, 2007 carry-on trailer. And the reason last year why I had to get rid of it was because of this setup. The old trailer, I was not able to put the zero turn and that walk behind on. So, uh, it was a 6x10. I only needed a two extra feet. And it's like, now I have the two extra feet and there's, like, all kinds of room on this trailer. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I could have gone 14 foot and not had to turn the walk behind sideways been able to carry that but my thing is is I don't carry stuff if I don't actually need it you're just carrying around extra weight yeah sometimes better to be prepared than not so everybody should always be carrying a cone I have at least one cone on here uh, this is did I say what the trailer was real quick it's a 2022 premier 6x12 trailer 
uh, also with the spring assist gate. Sorry I'm uh, jumping around, just totally lost track of what I was talking about. <laughs> so anyways, back to the uh, zero turn. This is the uh, Xmark Radius E-Series. This is going on three seasons old, I believe now. And works wonderful for me. Uh, the only thing I'd have to say is if any of you watched the Willa Start video, you saw this thing was a little bare to get started for some reason. Even today it was. So let's move on over here. And we are going to start with the trimmers. So this is my Echo PAS 225. I do have a 230. But this will be on the trailer. The 230 will be basically my backup. Uh, quite honestly, I'm probably never going to get rid of the 230. Uh, that thing just doesn't stop running. I bought that brand new, I believe, when I was in high school. So I do have a Darwin's grip on it. Okay, and then new for this year, as you can see, we have the Milwaukee attachment series with the string trimmer on it. I do have a um, pull saw attachment for this if I ever need it. And that's the only attachments I have for this. Uh, I'm not going to say that the Milwaukee is going to be the main trimmer, but I probably will be trying to use it as much as possible. So I'm pretty interested to see how it's going to do. So also real quick, as you can see, the trimmers are mounted on equipment defender racks. Uh, I can't... I, I don't remember how old these things are. They're, I don't know, four or five years old maybe now. And they still work. Uh, you know, obviously they came off of the old trailer. Some of you might remember seeing that from last year. I did change the lockout to... Might want to change the code here. Pardon me, guys. Okay, so I did change the lockout to a combo uh, just so that way I don't have to deal with um, a key for it because if you saw on this front toolbox here, I'm not going to turn it over because the combo is in. But if you can see on this toolbox, this is a combo lock. Um, so, moving over, we have this uh, buyer's rack multi-tool cage. Uh, I did actually have an equipment defender backpack blower rack here. Uh, I'm no longer carrying a backpack blower. I do still have an old, still... Uh, I think it's a BR like 420 or something. It's the old boxy one. I don't remember the exact model number of it. Uh, so I have that around. Many of you might also know that last year I had a Craftsman BP510 backpack blower. Uh, I sold it. I just kind of got tired of it. I needed new straps from sitting out on the trailer, unfortunately. And couldn't get new straps. Didn't feel like dealing with it. Early on, I had some problems with, you know, it starting. Changed the spark plug to an NGK. Uh, I may have had some bad gas or water in the gas. So once I did that, it, other than that, it didn't have any problems. I just didn't need to be carrying a backpack boy around. But anyways, uh, so part of what I'm getting at and why this is on here is because there is actually a Milwaukee handheld... 18 volt blower in here now uh, so I think this thing will be perfect for blowing off driveways and sidewalks when you're mowing I mean I don't have a reason to need uh, a big backpack blower for that so I guess we'll see how this thing will do this this summer or this season so also um, so this blower came in a kit with the 
string trimmer. I got it on around Black Friday or something like that. And it's like a little over 400 bucks. But I got the trimmer. I got the blower. I got uh, like 8 amp hour battery. Um, and a rapid charger. And then it came with a free tool. And so I got the uh, pole saw because I didn't have one. I figured, you know, that the pole saw would work great for me. And I think it will. So, something else I want to show you guys too real quick. I do keep a spare. I don't know if you can see it. But I have the spare mounted down there. I'm not going to crawl under the trailer, but, you know. I might be able to show you. I don't know if you can see down here. But there's a there's a U-bolt a that goes through the boards and then it's got these little things that tighten up on the wheel and then you can put a lock through it and I think it works uh, I've never mounted it under the trailer uh, before on the old trailer I'll come around here and uh, on the old trailer I used to have that U-bolt through the mesh and the tire used to sit you know right here and that worked out well but I uh, opted to not do that so that way I didn't have to put a cover on it it's hidden out of the way and I mean hopefully you never need the spare so real quick uh, let's get back to this switch here I'm gonna turn this on and we'll walk to the back again and take a look at this So, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got strobe lights on the trailer. And these will actually turn white when you uh, put the truck in reverse. But I've been having a little issue with the plug, and I think it's just a result of a cheap plug. But this is my setup I've made up a little wiring harness this is a three-way plug and then this is the four-way so if somebody else ever needed to borrow this and they didn't have a seven-way we can just unplug this and plug the four-way into their vehicle and then the basic you know turn signal brake lights and running lights would all still work on theirs on their vehicle so um but yeah something's something's up inside here so the Reverse doesn't always work, unfortunately, but take my word for it. it. It helps when it works. So we can turn that switch off. And then here I've got, uh, this is from Speed Tech. This is a wireless remote. It's hard to see because it's not bright out. So pardon me, guys. I've got too many switches on. Anywho, um, so on the front of the truck, we just have two uh, two strobe lights. I'm trying to get low, see so maybe you guys can see them. Those are the TIR threes from Speed Tech, and then take a look on the box here. There's one on the side. There's two on the back. I know with the sun it's a little hard to see and then there's one also on the other side over there so I don't know if you guys can see that so let's uh, take one more look there's the truck and we got the trailer So I've also got something very special coming for you guys. And if you comment down in the description, hat, your name will go into a random YouTube comment picker. And I will select one random person to receive a hat 
from Van Lee Lawn Care. So please remember, comment HAT down in the, the comments and then I will announce when and who won that hat. So anyways guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Please drop me a comment below, let me know what you think. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already and we're going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.